Okay, so today we have pretty fun releases, I, I would assume. Um, we're starting with Quest now, and uh, we're going with Until You Fall, which, in my opinion, is the best world fighting game I've ever tried on virtual reality. I played it back in the day on my channel. It was like a long time ago. It was when it was on uh, like a free weekend or something like that. And I just loved it. I didn't play it more because I'm <laughs> nowadays I'm too lazy to connect with a cable and just play Link games. That's why I kind of like, I think I'm gonna invest in some virtual desktop. Um, and as well, this game really benefits from having no wires at all, so I'm really very excited that they decided to do a quest port because it is such an underrated game to, to me. It's actually crazy. I knew it was very like... Um, if it will come to quest, that will be a hit instantly. I'm kind of looking at the graphics now because I know they were kind of uh, high end. Okay, everything's fine. I just have to adjust the audio. I feel like because it's quite intense. Wake up, champion. Okay, whatever. We'll just go with this. Our city lies in ruin. In its place, monsters and twisted spirits now thrive. Mm -hmm. I have restored you as best I can. Together, we can stop this madness. Oh, they... they did great, I see, with the graphics. It's basically... Uh, RBG roguelike sword fighting game with blocking, powering, stuff like that. Yeah, you're basically aligning weapons in the shape that it's like saying you, and that, that's how you block. And then you kinda have to block up until. Yeah, you really have to pay attention to, to the screen, kinda. I also no love the soundtrack wait. of it because it's like There's no time to wait. Okay. I re also remember I said specifically if no Asger Raft would have combat system from until you fall, that would be the perfect yes. game. Basically, if you follow the lines, you deal more damage and you break more shield. And then, you have on the level, you cannot get like, for example, health packs, money. Kind of like you know, roguelike progressing RPG game, truly. But it gets more harder. I remember I didn't like. Okay, yeah, uh, give me like uh, audio, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, vignetting, haptics, camera shake, full screen. Grab, summon, look. User interface. Yeah, everything's fine. Nice. Press on, champion. Basically you have dashes, you don't really have like an unlimited uh, number of it. When you dash, you can like shock them and deal damage as well. Fantastic work. Nice. Uh, Choose wisely. What uh, should we take? I will take actually more health. I remember I was uh, taking mostly money because I wanted to kind of progress but I kind of know the game already so I'm not gonna like die through, soon <laughs> I think that is also true 
wider attacks, more damage. It's like the physics based as well. Oh, you have also well, two weapons, by the way. And uh, I don't know if uh, it, it is now, but every weapon has an ability that you can use. I don't think it's like including this tutorial. I'm assuming it's a tutorial. I will still take health packs then. Huh, I'm doing well <laughs> for a first one on quest. I played it already, so. Show these creatures what you can yeah, do. Dash impact. Basically, you can just instantly kill them. Oh shit! <laughs> Dash impact. No, no, wait. Uh, combo. Actually. Is this the night stage? No, not yet. <laughs> nice. Doing well, surprisingly. I really know that having no wires in this game is benefiting so much. So much. Because you you don't get tangled, you don't do nothing. You can just normally play the game as it should be. Good. Push forward. Ah, oh, okay. This is the boss that I didn't play, uh, unlock. But it is part of the tutorial, it seems like. Get out! Yeah, this is not the state that we fight him. We fight him. Yes, so... Hold your own, champion. Ah, no, we actually f fight with him. That's surprising. <laughs> ah, wait, wait. The Hang on. I got you. That's cheating! <laughs> He didn't attack like that before. Okay, that's pretty much a tutorial. <laughs> so now we go back to the hub, where we can like upgrade weapons, choose the difficulty, basically stuff. But I see the graphics were now not downgraded that much. Lokar is no more. Should that creature continue unabated, its corruption will unravel reality. When you are ready, return to the surface and destroy that creature. This is our dummy, can just train on him. Or bully, that's also a thing. You can change game difficulty on time you've read room for it. Yeah, I'm choosing this one. Um, yeah. Wait, what's the difference? Enemies are fast and forgiving, and attack faster and more effective. Yeah. Give me a one. I will arm you with the finest weapons I can muster. See? But Those are the uh, abilities. This I'll show you. You basically use the abilities and then you can Each replenish them as well when you fight. Yes. Through combat, ah, the power original soundtrack, okay. Each weapon will activate. Uh... Twist your empty palm upwards and then hold the trigger. Yeah, temporary armor for 20 seconds and study strike like us. Yeah, it's like a stun, trapping, snare, whatever. As well, every ability has like a bonus. You have to see how it's affected like the gameplay as well.
as well traits, passives. This game is actually kinda um, not complicated, but like. Call upon it and show these creatures your true. It is like uh, you don't you can do a lot of things here. Yeah, see snare, and then you can just throw the attack. For example, like this, a shield. Attack me! <laughs> Masterfully done. Whoa, what happened to you? <laughs> I left my body for a second. <laughs> yeah, certain outcomes only affect the hand that crushes them. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Like uh, additional passive that you can add to your abilities. Soulborn. Big swings. I actually like this. Alternative strikes. With other weapon, because this will damage extra damage. Nice. And then. Big swings. Okay. Give me this. So that's pretty much it. You progress throughout the levels. They have didn't have unlocked weapons yet differently, so we just have against it for now. <laughs> what I like to do is attack my, with my right hand and block with my left. That's my kind of strat from the Link gameplay. Ah, shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I have one HP. Oopsie. <laughs> have a restore? Yes. Ah, this knight. <laughs> I hate him. I you may be the last one left. Go, champion. Lay this one to rest. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah! Shit! Ah! Die! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm doing amazingly for versus him for the first time. Ah, shit! Get out! <laughs> I did not defeat him for the first time, I, I saw him. Restore. Fuck <laughs> this. I really like like this game. Like the combat system is so like fluid. Might be biased a bit. <laughs> a white, a, a knight, and him. Fuck this. Ay, ay, ay. Focus. Ah! Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, damn. I got distracted a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, same strat, you die, you unlock Adder by progressing, and then you unlock, like this is kind of like the currency of the game, 
unlock uh, the different weapons that you can fight with. Different abilities, different passives. Proper sort of fighting RPG, that's pretty much how it works. You have returned. Good. Through our efforts, the forge is slowly returning to its former glory. Yeah. With enough aether, I can permanently enhance any weapon of your choice. So basically you can as well. Yourself, champion. My armory is at your disposal. Enhance like your weapons for like a uh, higher damage output or like more bonuses or my like more passive slots as well, different weapons. Axe. Axe was fine I think. Yeah, because it had like an empowered empowered strikes. Um So that's pretty much a game to me. You pretty much just progress and just start over classic roguelike but like with elements of like sword fighting RPG so I love this game <laughs> for me this is the best sword fighting game there is but I might be biased so that's pretty much how it is um, yeah I'll see what's up with the Walking Dead so be right back <laughs> 